let me, let me say this real quickly. If you're here as a Christian this morning and you're taking advice from the world on how to live as a Christian, you need to come back to the altar because the world can't guide you in the things of God. Amen. I, 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 get, a, I get a kick out of amen, worldly people that are not saved trying to tell me how to live as a Christian. A preacher, this is the way you're supposed to be. This is the way you're supposed to act. Well, how do you know how I'm supposed to act? You ain't even saved. Amen. You don't even know who God is yet in your own life. How can you tell me what I need to do when you don't know what the word is? Amen. But they'll try their best to tell you. Amen. They're trying to dictate to us today uh, how we ought to live, uh, how we ought to worship, uh, how we ought to praise God. Uh, amen. How we ought to dress, uh, how we ought to look, uh, all these things. Uh, but I'm satisfied today uh, that when I got born again, uh, amen, I'm glad I got a relationship uh, with a living God uh, that saved me and claimed me. He loves you this morning. He loves you. David, amen, my listen, needed help. Not a one of us here, not a time in our life, the times we don't need help. I find myself needing it more every day, every day, amen. I can sit here and listen, tell you the story on story, amen, of what God's done, but I, I can satisfy, and most of you know how good God is. Real good. But what's he like for you when the battle's raging? Maybe it's going on in your life right now. You're just tired. You're wore out. You just keep trying to hang on, but that's all it feels like you're doing. It's just barely hanging on. I know God's real preacher. I know he loves me preacher, but you don't understand what I've been through. You're right. And I feel like I'm just barely hanging on right now. I do my best. I get up, put my clothes on. I made it down here to church this morning. I knew that's where I needed to be. But even I still know in my heart I'm not getting what I really need because I still feel that emptiness, that loneliness, and I still feel like something is missing right now. Amen. I still know it's saved me, preacher, but there's still something missing in me. Amen. Something's got me so worn down, so tired that I can't seem to get back into just praising God, letting go loose for God and doing the things that God wants me to do. Amen, Preacher, I ain't never got that way. You will if you hold on long enough probably. Let me tell you what you can do. You can take it to the man with the plan Amen. and trust him. You got to trust him. You see, that's where our faith comes in. It's not when we're up on the mountain and everything's going the best. That's when people want to praise him. Oh, boy, I tell you what, whew, everything going good for me right now. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Next week you see him, oh, preacher, all hell's are raging against me and I, I, I'm losing on all ends. And Boy, it's an awful battle. Well, praise him anyway. Praise him anyway. Praise him anyway. Preacher, you're crazy. Praise him anyway. He's an inhabitor of praise. If you want him to be present with you, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Preacher, how can I praise him? Know who he is and praise him. I praise him not for what I am, but for what he is. Amen. Well, I'm nothing, but he's everything. For with my God, nothing shall be impossible, the word says. My God can do all things. Well, glory to God. He's worthy to be there comes a time when you need somebody. Church, I want to encourage you. As brothers and sisters in the Lord, I said encourage you. I want to encourage you. Don't get behind people. The church has stood behind too long. It's time to get beside people. Let's get beside one another. Hey, I may not see you behind me, if I'm really going through a storm and I'm barely hanging on, you may be back there, but I won't know you're there. Amen. It feels a whole lot better to know you're up here with me. Amen. So get up beside me. Amen. Let's get up beside one another.
Let's help one another along. Amen. And when we stumble, amen, don't point a finger at one another. As that little song, amen, we used to sing at church, don't point a finger, but lend a hand. Amen. Come on, brother. Come on. Let's get up from this mess. Amen. God's going to take care of this. He'll clean this up. Amen. Let's move on. Let's get, let's get this behind us. Let's move forward. Amen. Amen. Now this is a time, amen, when we need to be pressing forward in the things of God, not backing up, not not falling away, not leaving one another, not getting complacent, not just getting self-satisfied, but seeking the things of God, seeking, praise God, the power of God in our life. Amen. And if you're lost this morning without Christ, you're not a Christian today. Things may be seemingly well in your life right now, but I'll promise you this, and I promise it by the authority of God's word, your, see, your joy and fun is only going to last but a season for just a little while. And then all hell is going to rain down on you. And you're going to find yourself in a terrible spot in life. Preacher, I, you, think, you think that's going to happen to me? I don't think I'm in control. You just think you're in control. You just think you're in control. Ah, oh, my, listen, he's he going to come to steal, kill, and destroy you. He ain't out to help you. Amen, he is wanting to finish you off completely. And he don't only want to get you, he wants to get your loved ones. If you're married, he wants to get your spouse. If you have children, he wants your children too. Amen, if you've got a mom or dad, he wants them as well. He won't stop just with you. He'll latch on to anything that will allow him to be latched on to. I found, amen, it's a lot like mosquitoes. You know, you have to spray yourself down sometimes to keep them boogers from biting you. Well, I found out, praise God, that if the blood of Jesus has covered you, the devil will have to back up, amen. Are you saved this morning? Are you saved? And if you are this morning, maybe you're going through a storm in your life. Maybe it's a family issue, a financial issue, health issue. Storms come in many forms and fashions. They ain't all tornadoes. They ain't all whirlwinds and hurricanes. And they, ain't, they ain't all, amen, my sandstorms. No sand. There are all kinds of storms that not only hit the earth, but hit our life. And the only one that can sustain you through any and all storms is Jesus Christ. Amen. He's an anchor that cannot be moved. He's a rock, amen, that cannot be shaken. He is the everlasting Father. He is the eternal God. He knoweth all things and holdeth all things in the hollow of his hand. Do you know him this morning? Do you trust him this morning? Will you praise your way out of your storm as a Christian this morning? I'm an earnest believer. It's a key to us as a Christian. And our way out of the storm is to praise our way out. It starts with praise. Amen. How do you get to praise him? Start thanking him. You ever stop and really just thank him? Lord, thank you for the shoes on my feet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the food I've been blessed to have. Thank you for the job you've granted me to have. Thank you, Lord, for the automobile that gets me down the road. Thank you, Lord. Amen, when I pull up to the gas pump for just having the money to fill that automobile back up again or just to get enough in to get me on to the next spot. And thank you, Lord. And thank you, Lord. Boy, if you start really thanking him. Lord, thank you. Amen. My goodness. Oh, I've got some aches and pains, but boy, I'm glad I'm up out of bed this morning. Thank you, Lord. And thank you. Oh, if we really stop to thank God and we get earnest in our thanksing, amen, and we begin to get in.